Okay, we're gonna talk about framing today. I did things a little bit different than I have been in the past. I'm already done with all the framing. Instead of showing you me doing all the work, it was pretty straightforward. I just framed out what was on the old walls. There was a few things I had to do different than original and a few things that, um, I, I, tips, tricks, or whatever that we picked up as we were doing it that I wanted to share with you guys just real quick, just in case you're building your own trailer, repairing your own trailer, whatever is going on, or just so you know how I, I went about getting it accomplished. So that's what we're going to cover real today. Um, just those few things. I'm going to swap tripods really quick because it's way easier with a, with a different tripod than this. Um, and I'll show you those few things and I'll let you get out of here. Thanks. All right. So I tried like 10 different ways to make this sexy. Can't really do it. So I'm just going to go over a few things really fast. The original trailer was held together with staples. All right. Those staples are in an original wall that we were able to salvage from the interior, but that's how the whole thing was held together. We didn't get one of those staple guns, right? I priced them. It was like 600 bucks for the staple gun. And then I couldn't find the staples locally. So, you know, that plan went out the window. So we just used straight nails. We went with two inches. We have some two and a halves and, and the two and a halves seem to kind of shoot off weird and protrude. And we was always having to trim them and clean them up. We went down to the twos and as long as we were holding the gun right, seemed to work out really well. Anywhere that we couldn't reach, with nails or if they weren't long enough, like around the door, I used uh, wider wood. We just, you know, pocket screwed like, you know, we just pocket screwed it. Other than that, that's the simple construction. It's super easy. And the reason that we're, they were able to get away with staples and we're able to get away with those brad nails is as scary as it is, wood built, tra wood built trailers are primarily held together by the glue that's going on the panels, the interior panels. Those get glued at every crossbar. And wood glue is super strong stuff. If you haven't worked with it, you're not familiar with it, Google it and watch some YouTube videos or whatever. Um, the stuff is, is stout. Like a lot of times the, the wood's gonna break before that joint gives up. It, 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 it's good stuff. So that gives you your rigidity because you kind of need some movement, right? Because this thing's going down the road, it's doing a lot of wiggling. And if you get too rigid, like if you use screws everywhere, um, which is something I see people do on YouTube and stuff like that, the wood will, will actually splinter and break and it's, it's not the best way to do it. I'm not saying that it's gonna come apart and it's completely the wrong way to do it. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely more comfortable using some kind of nail or some kind of staple to put these kinds of things together so that it can kind of move around just a little bit. The only other parts, the two parts that kind of got trickier, the lot, little bit of thought we had to go into, was at the front end, the radius, right? So we just took two boards, stuck them together, and then we just tr traced the, the interior wall that we had as a pattern and used a flush trim bit. And if you're not familiar with this, you haven't worked anything like this, um, this is a great router bin. It's like, you know, you don't need to know how to, you don't have to be super experienced to deal with it, right? So what happens is this bearing right here, runs flush on whatever you're trying not to cut, but what you're trying to follow, right? This, this is what runs on your pattern, and then this cuts. And it works really well for cutting things like that and cutting out windows um, or your doorways so you don't have to math that kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about messing up. Put up flat panel, and then you just trace around it. Same thing with the radius. Now, if you're building a trailer from scratch, or if you um, just don't have a wall to reference, right? Or you wanna make slight changes, you can always just pattern it with some cardboard and then cut it out of a piece of plywood, cut what you want out of plywood and then you know tack it to the wall and then trace it just like we did. Really easy, it's a great technique. Then the only other thing, problem that we ran into, that not even a problem, I guess, the only other thing that we took a little thought or technique is that the trailer's longer than the boards I could get my hands on that were straight. So we had to use eight foot long board I had to splice it in. That splice, you want to take those splices. You don't want to just go flat end to end on a board like that. One, there's no way to, a real good way to attach it, um, except for maybe pocket screws. So what we do in that is we just make sure and cut an angle in it. And then I would glue it and let your glue set up for a little while. Um, give it half an hour, an hour, come back and then glue it again put them together now and then nail them. And the reason why is ingrain soaks a lot of that glue up and you are not gonna get as good of attachment. Again, you could pocket screw it, but you're still gonna have a lot of wiggle room this way. So I cutting an angle and you should have actually cut a steeper angle than I did there, but that's what my miter saw cuts. So that's, I just went with a 45. Um, it's gonna be in the middle of a panel and I'm secure with where it's at. So it, it'll, it'll be all right in the long run. All right, that's it for framing. I know that was quick or probably a little bit more babbly than I planned on. There's not a lot there, but I didn't want to bore with you guys with watching me do the whole thing, but I wanted to put the whole build out there as best I could. 
If you have any questions or comments, put it down below. Especially if you've done something like this and you've used different fasteners, you found one of those staple guns cheaper, you know, let us know because I, I genuinely looked a little bit and I couldn't find one. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I do this again. And the next trailer video, I'm gonna do kind of a review because we've done tons of work that we didn't cover before. Um, that we just little odds and ends here and I'm probably just gonna do show you all the odds and ends of what we got going on So next video about the trailer will be about uh, just the little stuff that we've got accomplished And I'm gonna start paneling and uh, so we'll have the next one or two videos will be about how we're putting the panels on just show you the process and uh, Hopefully show you how rigid they are once the glue is set up. So thanks for watching people